let's get ready to rumble. The new and improved Fine Arts Center at the Stafford campus was the host to the annual Art Bout competition, where student artists were given the choice of working alone or in a small group to showcase their artistic talents. Several contestants signed up to compete, but who will reign supreme? I was able to speak with Mary Ellen Hill, and she gives her insight on the Art Bout competition. Well, the Art Bout competition is sponsored by GCIC, which is the Gulf Coast Intercollegiate Consortium. Uh, that is a group of a lot of the area junior schools. Um, the member schools kick in and we try to give, uh, you know, provide our students with experiences that they might be more likely to get at a four-year school. Uh, this is an art event. Uh, we wanted to sponsor it here because of our lovely uh, redone arts facility. And the art ballot is basically a quick competition. The students are invited in, they're provided with materials. Uh, they're uh, able to bring their own if they uh, so desire and they're given three hours and in the three hours they are uh, expected to make something. We gave them a choice of a few themes that they could work with and we have a juror coming in. Uh, we're really pleased to have uh, Kelly Klassmeyer who is a local uh, artist and writer and critic and has uh, been very successful so uh, we're really pleased to have her. Uh, the students will, they are working in groups or as individuals and uh, Kelly will select an individual to get an award and a group to get an award. So uh, they will get cash awards, not huge ones, but cash awards, uh, $100 and um, we're really excited to have them here. The artists can make their work of art three-dimensionally, two-dimensionally, uh, whatever they want. We've opened up three studios. Our painting studio is set up with uh, basically recycled canvases uh, and house paint uh, in, in different colors. So they can paint in there. Our sculpture uh, room is open. And so we have people building, working with wood, wire, chicken wire, and things like that. Our printmaking and design room is also open. And that's kind of where we've staged our found object uh, situation. So we have rolls of paper in there. We also have all kinds of things that we could scrounge up, bits of fabric, yarn, uh, doll parts, toys, discs, you know, motherboards from computers, all kinds of things that we could find that we thought they might be interested in making something out of. So it'll be interesting to see what they do. They can combine all of these things together. Uh, and so we'll see what happens. Kelly Klassmeyer was the lone juror who had the great feat of selecting a winner from so many great works of art. She talks about how pleased she was to see the students participate in the event. It's really impressive. I mean, you know, three hours is not a lot of time to, to put together an artwork. So I think, I think they've done some good work and I think they've been really creative in their use of materials. I, I think it's nice to see like this level of, you know, enthusiasm and people you know, work it, there's a lot of pieces that are collaborative. People are working together to, to create a piece, which can always be kind of difficult. But I think it's interesting that a lot of people took that on as a challenge. The dust has settled and the competition is over. Let's find out who came out on top. We're really excited and really proud of our win. Uh, we hope to make our teacher proud because we, we owe a lot of what we do to him. And yeah. he really inspires us and he's been such a great help. Our piece is basically, it's about the environment and how the environment influences us as an artist. And basically, you know, that, this is what this competition is about, is pulling in your resources and seeing what you can create. For more information about the Stafford Campus Fine Arts Center and upcoming events, log on to www.hccs.edu, click Southwest, visit Academics, then Fine Arts. For HCC Beat, I'm Derek Hall.